Hello everybody, it's Murialda here once again, and welcome back to a tiny little box. Yes, it's been a while since we've got a tiny box instead of a big giant box, but that's okay. We have one figure in here. It is my second Nendoroid. Um, I'm not the biggest Nendoroid person, Nendoroid collector in the world. I only have Tamamo right now because, well, Tamamo. But this is a goddess. Yes, my goddess. We got Purple Heart in here. And, you know, that's why I got her, per because Purple Heart. Um, I did get her from a U.S. store, and I will explain the reasons why as we go. But let's get this box open so I can stop worrying about potentially showing my address, because it's a tiny box and the shipping label takes the whole top. And yeah. Take it out of frame for the moment. Take the invoice out of the box and there we go and boom there she is she just fits in this box woohoo let's get her out <coughs> and there we go there is nendo nep in her packaging so i'm going to say nendo nep all the time this is technically purple heart there is a regular neptune nendroid as well but Neptune is Purple Heart, and Purple Heart is Nep Neptune, so Nendo Nep. <laughs> um, she is from Shoujigen Game Neptune Highlight, or Hyperdimension Neptunia Highlight, which is basically the 10th anniversary reprint edition of the anime. It's been 10 years already, wow. Um, Purple Heart is Nendoroid number 1291, and she is manufactured by Frontier Works and in partnership with Good Smile Company. Um, so originally she was part of a basically a Blu-ray set and I didn't want to pay the extra for the Blu-ray because I already have a Blu-ray and I don't even have a Blu-ray player. <laughs> so that's why I wound up getting her from a U.S. store. I got her from Lunar Toy Store. Uh, yeah, I didn't want to pay the extra $30 or whatever. Um, as I said, I got it from Lunar, but Purple Heart originally released on November 24th of 2020. I ordered her back on March 7th of 2020, so it's been over a year. She was supposed to be released or in stock on Janu in January of 2021 at Lunar Toy Store, but then, you know, delays and everything. Kind of sucks because I've seen her at other stores get released, but... I had to wait and wait and wait. Um, finally, she came in stock and shipped out on the 14th of April and got here today on the 19th. She should have got here on Saturday, but because she was scheduled for the 19th, they let her sit in Crackerin for three days. But anyways, uh, $48.99. If I had gotten the whole Blu-ray set from Amiyami, she would have been eighty-five or 8580 yen or whatever that's going to be in USD, and plus crazy shipping. But anyways, front of the box, side of the box, back of the box, other side of the box, top of her box, and bottom of the box. And like I said, I'm not an Android collector. Tamamo was a royal pain in my butt, and I didn't think I would ever get another one, but then they released Purple Heart, and... Well, I couldn't say no to her. Come on. There we go. Just the one seal. And she was in a tiny box. I was actually surprised because I'm looking for it. And it was actually not on my porch. It was in my mailbox. I'll take the instructions out. Inside of the box, just plain purple. No designs or anything. Set that off to the side. There's the instructions in Japanese. And look on the inside, English. So you can read it if you want. You can pause. Basically, don't throw this figure. Don't damage this figure. Whatever. Um, how to assemble and all the part count and everything. Blah, 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 blah. I think we can figure it out. So there she is in her blister packaging. Got one extra face, two extra arms, an extra leg, her wings, and her sword. So, 
yeah, it is what it is. Uh, in the back, we got her base and an extra neck joint. So I hear tell in the past that Nendroids used to come with a lot more accessories. So kind of a disappointment, but I'm the type of person that I will never repose her once I get her posed once. So I don't need all the extra accessories. So might as well start with her base. If you've seen an Nendroid, you've seen the base. It's nothing exciting. Just the tape off. And then there's more tape. So there we go. I'll throw the tape away and keep the plastic. So yeah, like I said, there is an extra neck joint. It's got the little good smile smile. It's hard to move with it not attached to anything. So we'll set that off to the side. Uh, the base, you got, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Boy, I cannot count. 13 holes. And then you got the arm. So the one that pegs into the base and the one that stabs into her back. So, yay. Like I said, if you've seen uh, one Nendroid, you've seen the base. She did not come with a special base or anything like that. Let's go ahead and get the blister open. Just looking to see... Is that tape? No. I don't think there's any tape holding it together. Okay, yep, no tape holding it together, so it's nice and simple. Uh, we'll start with her bent leg. So, yep, it's a leg, it's bent. It has a little peg in there. This is just an anti-shrink peg. So to keep the hole in her leg the right size. You got the little purple hexagon, you got the couple little designs, and she's got a heel. So, yay. Uh, next we'll pull out the extra arms. So this one looks like it will hold her sword. You got the purple inside of the glove and black on the outside. You got the little wing claw thing on her wrist. You got the purple bicep tricep whatever area and it's oddly shaped but mainly because it's an android and pretty small peg the other hand it's not going to hold anything got all the five fingers and it is what it is i mean it's an android i will pull out her sword so reasonably detailed got the purple blade you got the black uh, back of the sword, spine, I guess. You got the little Neptunia logo. And you got a gray handle. So yay. And reasonably detailed. Next we will pull out her wings. So they're purple. Again, you got some sculpting details in there. Not sure how well it's going to show up on camera, but whatever. On the front side, the... Oops. Throwing it on the ground. It's got little white stripes to make it stand out a little bit more. And it's got a hole in it that the stand goes through and then stabs into her back. Then we've got her extra face. So yes, she has her power button eyes, purple eyebrows, nice blue eyes. This is her happy smiling face. She's got two ears. And I also pulled out my little Nendroid mask. So yay. Might as well get some use out of it since it made other things so delayed. And then we have the main Nendroid figure. Just set her down and get this blister out of the way. So let's get the plastic off first. So I'm going to, excuse me, I'm going to burp and work her head out. Uh, so there's plastic uh, holding her, or between her ponytail, so they come out. And then there's some under her bangs. So I have seen some pictures and videos 
Usually the bangs are like right there, but hers actually go quite far back on her head. So there we go. She is now deplastic. Let's get that off to the side. And we might as well look at her normal standard face that she comes with. Just moving the lights around a little bit. Try to get the shadow. So again, she's got her blue power button eyeballs. We've got the purple eyebrows. And this is her stern, you know, frowning expression. Her standard fare. And it is faceplate number one. This one is number two. Uh, here's her head. The back of her head. Reasonably... Well done. There's some sculpting. Got, you know, a couple joint lines. There is shading in her hair. Here is her fringe. She's got her little X cross button whatever hair ornaments. And nicely detailed fringe. Good uh, side locks to frame her face a little bit. Uh, we've got her... I'm just going to show the one. We've got her tw one of her twin tail braids. You've got her... The ornament that holds it together at the end and little messy poofy stuff and it the little tail does twist a bit so be careful with that the braid is reasonably well sculpted and the joint is a dendroid joint so it's got the smile and it's purple and we have her body so it wouldn't be neptune or purple heart without big giant boobs and for the Nendroid scale, those are big giant boobs. Nice cleavage, nice, actually looks like separation, but they are maybe a little welded. You got the Neptunia N on her chest. A couple silver buttons. You got the purple, uh, purple belly strip with a vacuum seal belly button. You got the crosses on her hips or her flanks. You got the little, whatever they are, diamond pieces on her belt. You got a little blue line on her crotch region. Uh, again, you got the purple hexagons on her pants. And de reasonably detailed shoes with the little wings coming off of them. She got the booty with the Neptunia symbol. Planet Neptune symbol, I should say. Uh, yeah. Heels. She can do little bits of the splits. You got the hole in her back. And these arms are kind of boring. So let's do a nice little default pose. So let's see. we'll do her normal face. Put the fringe on. It's nice that the uh, twin tails are on a joint, so you can move them around if you want. There we go. Get them in. I'm not sure which way they're supposed to go, so I'm just going to put them in like that. And put her body on. And we'll put all the accessories off to the side. I'm going to display her in the probably the smiling face with the wings and the sword and everything. So, yay. But this is her default pose that she comes in. <laughs> Let's bring her closer, put the camera down, so she can hover, or you can adjust the stand in such a way that she stands. So yeah, there she is in her default pose that she comes in. Spin her around, yay. And I'm not going to go through every single pose, but I will do some of them at least. And then, of course, since we've got it, uh, so the fringe should come off for this. And put the fringe back on. So there is COVID Neptune. Yay. Endo Nep. 
Okay, so let's kind of get her how I plan on displaying her. Okay, so the peg actually stuck in her back and came out. So let's adjust that a bit. Let's get that stupid mask off. And we will put her smiley face on. It's a little bit of a tighter fit because it didn't come on her. Um, let's see, which one of these is the one that holds a sword? This one. So it is her, her right arm. We'll pop that arm off and pop this one on. Um, the hand does twist at the wrist, so you can have it however you want it. Does hold the sword pretty well. Uh, we'll wait until she gets actually put together before we put that on. And then pop the space holder anti-shrink peg out. We'll pop her, uh, her left leg off. Put on the bent one. And it is fairly loose. And we'll put this anti-shrink peg into this leg. And we'll try to get her head on properly now. There we go, get it all the way on. Yeah, that leg is quite loose, but it's probably because it had the anti-shrink peg in it. Uh, we'll put the wings on first, and then we'll stab it into her back. Maneuvering it around the twin tails. Or at least attempting to. Hmm. How is this going to work? Okay, so it is a pretty tight fit with her hair. As I said, I'm not the biggest Nendroid person. I, I'm not very good at posing them, and it's I find them to be a bit of a pain. But it's Purple Heart. I could not pass her up. She is one of my goddesses, after all. She was my original waifu. Come on. Do I have to take your head off? There we go, that's good enough. Whoa! And then give her her sword. Get in that hand. So there we go. This is how I'm going to display her, probably. Um, let me turn down the brightness maybe a little bit. Well, if I turn it off, we, we can still see her, kind of, but we want some light on her. Maybe adjust the color temperature. Make it yellow. It still washes out her face quite a bit. Oh, well. It is what it is. Let's do a spin around. I mean, it's Nendo Nep. You can't pass up Nendo Nep. You have to get her. At least I have to get her. So yay. I'm happy. As I, as I've said multiple times, Nendoroid's not my thing. She is a lot easier to pose and everything or put together and not fall apart than Tamamo was. Her leg is loose, but I'm sure over time that it will tighten up. And she's just cute. And I'm happy to have her. Finally, and she just popped off her stand again. So yeah, uh, I buried my notes. This is Nendroid Purple Heart, uh, Nendroid number 1291. She is from Shojigen Game Neptune Highlight, or, you know, Hyperdimension Neptunia Highlight, the 10th anniversary of the Hyperdimension Neptunia anime. I can't believe it's been 10 freaking years already. Uh, she originally released as part of a set with the Blu-ray and a couple other accessories on uh, November 24th of 2020. I ordered her back on uh, 
March 7th of 2020, so it's been over a year. And I got her at Lunar Toy Store, who had problems getting her in. They, her, Their shipment finally came in, and I paid $48.99 for her. So yay, it's Nep, and it's Nendroid. She's cute. I'm happy to have her. I hope you enjoyed. I got some more figures coming in the next couple weeks. See you soon. Bye-bye.